Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. I'm Jason and I have here the 14A and 14B Daimler Ambulances by Lesney. The smaller 14A was released in 1955, which comprised of just the body, two axles and four metal wheels. Then in 1958, it was replaced by the larger 14B version, upscaled and now with a black metal base. This lasted in the range until 1962. Both versions came in cream to off-white shades and could be found with or without a red cross decal applied to the roof. Silver trim was applied to the headlights and grille on each, but a handful received gold trim on the 14B. 14As had metal wheels with crimped axle ends, while Bs could be found with metal or silver or grey plastic wheels fitted by crimped or rounded axle ends. This is the real Daimler DC27 ambulance the castings are based on. Following the Second World War, London County Council commissioned Daimler to produce a new prototype ambulance, which would feature a number of essential requirements as specified by the Ministry of Health. Daimler modified their DE chassis for the DC27 to be built for purpose, the first of its kind in post-war Britain. It had a low floor which aided access for stretchers, and the large working area was heated and air-conditioned. It had good headroom, while the Daimler offered a smooth ride and stable handling. LCC placed an order for an initial 120 units. London County Council would go on to order more than 200 DC-27s. Such was their popularity, numerous other cities and counties ordered the ambulances, including Bath, Belfast, Birmingham, Carmarthenshire, Croydon, Cumberland, Hertfordshire, the Isle of Wight, Nottingham, Plymouth, Salford and Surrey. In total, more than 500 DC-27 chassis were built. The final Daimler was decommissioned in London in 1964. Both casting bodies are based on the coachwork by Barker & Co, coach builders of the famous 1907 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost Open Tourer. Barker body DC-27s had two body lines running along the sides, where later models only had one. These were built by Hooper & Co. The DE chassis the DC-27 was based on was built by Daimler from 1946 until 1953. The 27 in DC and DE-27 refers to the Daimler engine code, this being the 4.1 litre straight six. They also built a DE-36 known as the straight eight for its inline eight engine. These chassis were particularly popular with heads of state, including British royalty. Daimler had held the royal warrant to supply British royalty motor cars since 1900. Daimler were founded in London in 1896, with manufacturing taking place in Coventry. Founder Harry Lawson bought the rights to use the German Daimler name from Gottlieb Daimler and from his former company Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft. I've chosen a new paint to use on these two castings today. This is yet another high coat automotive paint, this time Ford Ivory White. It replaces the Tamiya TS7 Racing White that I'd usually opt for in a cream to off-white colour matching. I found that paint to be very thin despite using it on numerous occasions. This is a vast improvement though. One coat and it already has excellent coverage and leaves a smooth finish. In 1962, the 14B Daimler was replaced by the 14C Bedford Lomas Ambulance. This was my very first restoration, which I've linked to here. That carries the London County Council LCC wording on the side decals as an interesting aside. I also restored another on my channel's one year anniversary to compare my progress from being a total novice. That's probably a better video than the original, so I'd recommend you watch that instead of my first if you haven't yet seen it. Each of my castings will receive a red cross decal for their roofs. I got these from Steve Flowers Model Supplies and I will leave a link below. Both are an identical size, 
which rings true if you look at pictures of original castings. The cross is much larger on the A than the B due to its smaller size. But they are straightforward enough to apply and I think really enhance the overall look of the castings with some much needed colour and interest. Daimler are still technically in existence, though the brand is dormant as of 2010. The Birmingham Small Arms Company bought Daimler in 1910 before selling to Jaguar in 1960. After this time, Daimlers were all rebadged and upscaled Jaguar cars, all except for the DS420 limousine. This had no equivalent, but was made entirely from Jaguar parts. Jaguar Land Rover continued to hold the rights to the mark. So here is my pair of Daimler DC27 ambulances, both as the smaller 14A and larger and later 14B. Both were in unremarkable condition, mostly chipped but without any real damage. The base plate on the 14B was a bit wonky, but please ignore the lean, that's just the turntable when the model isn't centred. But these two gave me a good opportunity to try out a TS7 replacement, so here's how the high coat coated Daimlers now look. Each now match one another in Ford's ivory white. Each received the same headlight and grille trim treatment. Each had their metal wheels washed and were crimped back onto their respective axles. And each received the same red cross decal to their roofs. I am very pleased with the even coat the high coat has left behind. It hasn't detracted from the fine cast detailing of either casting, where I'd expect the TS7 by Tamiya to pull slightly in some areas. But I'm really happy overall with this pair, restored alongside one another, similar to the 13A and 13B Bedford wreck trucks I completed some time back. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this pair of restorations, and be sure to subscribe for even more. Thanks to all my subscribers, and special thanks go to my Patreon supporters. So all that leaves me to say is thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.